If I was to describe my singing style, I would say it is pretty unique. I'm trying to be as authentic to my self as I possibly can be. I guess it is very raspy at times. I try to not be too raspy, but I'm just trying. I think soulful is a word of expression more than a genre. So I try to express myself from my soul, but I guess technically it might be more Americana or folk. I don't really know, but I'd love for you to tell me what you think. So I'm on Team Blake. I remember vividly the moment when I was in the middle of my blind audition and I was 90% sure that, you know, nobody's turning around. I was just here having a good time now. And I thought I was singing kind of pitchy. I don't know, I was nervous. But all of a sudden, Blake turns around smiling and um, kind of saves me there. So I had no idea what to think, really. I am so grateful that Blake turned around because he turned out to be, you know, the perfect coach for me. Blake is a great guy. He has some great insight. He's super calm and, you know, I don't know. He's, he's had a good few pointers for me. He's, he's very much embraced my uniqueness, which I was worried about. And he's kind of expressed that he wants me to even go further into that and to not be afraid to reach for higher parts of my range, which I've always been timid about. So he's kind of helping pull a lot out of me that I wasn't going to bring to the show on my own. I come from a very music heavy area the Hudson Valley, between Sorgates, Woodstock, Kingston, Poughkeepsie, Albany, all this whole section of New York has a lot of heavy hitters when it comes to music. And honestly, a lot of what has shaped me and inspired me has been other local musicians. Uh, Joey Eppard is an amazing songwriter from my area who has influenced me guitar-wise. You know, the Paul Luke Band is a band that really shaped me as an artist. Um, I've been playing with them for years and they're a bunch of older guys that have taken me in and shown me the ropes as far as shows go. You know, um, as for other touring artists that have really inspired my music, Martin Sexton, he is a wonder to me and I am always amazed at his shows and what he can do as a solo performer and a songwriter in general. Um, you know, there's a guy, Sean Rowe, who has been a huge influence to me because he's a baritone and he rocks it like nobody else. And he's very inspiring because he just embraces the low parts of his range and you know, he's totally unique. And that gives me a chance to be something completely different in this mainstream industry. As for guitar, my hero is like Tommy Emmanuel. I mean, Tommy, if you're listening, I love you, man. I'm studying your lessons right now. But otherwise, I've been really fortunate to be inspired by everybody from home. Like my community has really inspired me from a young age. So the voice is probably the biggest challenge that I'm going to ever come across in my songwriting adult musical lifetime. I honestly have never learned a cover song in my life until last year. I started learning a couple but I've built my entire musical catalog off of original music and, you know, studying, you know, songwriting really, and just creating my own. I've always just been writing. So every single song I'm performing here, it's the first time I've ever done it and I'm learning it for the first time. So I'm going to be pushing myself every time you see me out here, but mainly I'm going to try to choose songs that are a little out of my wheelhouse and push me up into a higher register and just see what I can do. I don't know but I'm gonna hope for the best. To win the voice would be absolutely crazy. And um, I just feel so truly grateful to even be here right now that I'm not focused on winning, I'm focused on getting through the next round. And I'll take how I feel about that if that's an option. But right now I'm just focused on the lives and feeling grateful to be here and feeling good. I think to win would be um, to win the voice would be absolutely crazy and um, I just feel so truly grateful to even be here right now that I'm not focused on winning I'm focused on getting through the next round and I'll take how I feel about that if that's an option but right now I'm just focused on 
the lives and feeling grateful to be here and feeling good. I think to win would be, um, it would be amazing. Fun fact about me is before I was a full-time musician, I spent seven years building bass guitars as my day job. And I do miss building guitars from time to time, but I enjoy playing them a lot better.